Hi there, my name is Charity and I work in children's services at the downtown branch of the St. Albert Public Library. I am excited to be here with you today because we are going to make an incredible shrinking chip bag. Magic or science? It's actually science and we'll get into that later, but first we are going to talk about the things you will need. Today's challenge involves the oven. So the first thing you're going to need is adult help or supervision. And then you and that adult are going to preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. After that, you are going to need a nice shiny bag of chips. I also found that Chocolate bar wrappers, they work as well. They're just a little harder to clean. More on that later. You will also need parchment paper. Oven mitts. A baking sheet. And optionally, you might also want to have a second pan ready. For this challenge, the first thing that you are going to need to do is eat those potato chips. Or you can take them out and put them in another container. But you want to make sure that the bag is empty and that you have taken some soap and water and washed it out and then gotten it nice and dry. You don't want to have any chip crumbs inside. After you do that, you are going to take the parchment paper. Take it. I found that it works best actually if you take a pretty long strip and then Fold it over your chip bag. This is going to help to protect your pans and it also helps to keep the bag from bubbling too much out of shape while it's shrinking. After you have this all wrapped up, you are just going to pop it onto a pan and then you are heating plastic, so if it's, it's a small amount, that's why we're using a snack size chip bag. It doesn't make a lot of smell, but you're still going to want to open your kitchen windows and make sure that the room is well ventilated. Once you have that done, you and your adult helper are just going to pop this in the oven and set the timer for three minutes. After three minutes have passed, you're going to use those oven mitts and get that pan out of the oven or your adult is going to do that and leave it um, on a hot pad or someplace safe to cool off. It's still going to be hot for a while, so you don't want to handle it. And I mentioned earlier that optional second pan. You may want to take the pan and carefully just... This is cooled down, don't worry. <laughs> Carefully just press it on top of the bag that has shrunk and that will just help to make sure that it lays flat. You don't have to do that, you can leave it. They look kind of neat when they have a little bubble to them as well. And that is really it. After you leave it for about 10 minutes to cool down, you can take it out and voila, you have your incredible shrunken chip bag. Now I'm going to show you what happened to that candy bar after it was shrunk, or I should say candy bar wrapper. That is how tiny it got. Really colorful bags work great too. Here's a snack size bag of Cheetos. I just didn't have a full one to show you because we've eaten all of the Cheetos. And once you have these made, you could use it for a pretty cool bookmark. 
where your challenge can be to think of other ways that you can use this plastic and you will have recycled it. Okay, the science. So the chip egg is made of polymers and polymers in their natural state, they want to be clumped together like these beads. Now in the manufacturing process, they actually take and stretch them out into a thin layer and lock them in place. And when you put it in the oven, you're applying heat and it unlocks the polymers and they start to go back to that clumped up shape. But because the chip bags have a thin piece of foil inside, that helps them to retain the shape of the bag. And that is the science behind the magical shrinking chip bag. Thank you for joining us for our STEAM challenge. Of course, we love to see uh, what your results are, what you've made, what you've creatively come up with. Take a picture and tag us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, you can check out our calendar on our website for more upcoming programs and events. And I hope you had a lot of fun and that we see you again for another STEAM challenge.